This is the COVID Main OR Periop Guide. When you are booking a COVID positive case, you're committing to reviewing and adhering to the safety precautions we have placed in the COVID OR areas. For every COVID case, there will be a pre-op huddle. This takes place by the signage that's right outside the COVID OR barrier. And our goal is to do this 30 minutes prior to the scheduled start time for your case. The COVID pre-op huddle um, mimics our regular pre-op huddle. The additions are that we are asking our charge nurse and our anesthesia board runner to be included. And it is important for us to make sure that we're reviewing the procedure. We have every special equipment that you might need for your procedure. We have blood in the room if we need it, um, any special equipment that we need. And if there's any additional patient concerns, we wanna go over the plan for the whole procedure prior to us calling the transport team to bring the patient down. This is just a little guide as far as the sequence of events for your COVID case. Prior to the patient coming to the OR, we have the OR team huddle to go over the process and plan as previously stated. After the huddle, the OR team will don and stay in the OR as a member of the anesthesia team will bring the patient to the OR with the COVID transport team. This is the one area that has caused some delays. So we are working on making sure the transport team knows that we're about to bring a patient down. Once the patient is in the OR, anesthesia will begin and surgeons will operate. We are asking that we limit the in and out movement in the OR. So once you are donned and you are in the OR, please remain there until your part of the procedure is done instead of going in and back out. At the end of the case, anesthesia and the COVID transport team will take the patient to the ICU. The rest of the OR team will doff appropriately and you are done. As far as surgical consents, once they are obtained, our nursing staff will make a photocopy of the original consent and the copy will be used for the surgical timeout in the OR. If verbal consent is necessary, that is acceptable, but it needs to be verified in your surgical progress note. Anesthesia consent is a verbal consent and it's verified by the attending anesthesiologist and the CRNA or resident. Now we will go over the sequence of how you move in and out of the COVID unit. Please take a moment to review this map. It follows the arrows as far as your pattern of movement and what are our donning and doffing areas. Signage is also available in the COVID unit as well as our runner team, which consists of an RN and a scrub tech, will help make sure that you're adhering to our policies. For the patient transport to the OR, we use the COVID transport team. These are the particular steps as far as how we initiate that and then how the patient gets back to the OR floor. Please take the time to review this algorithm as well as in on the following slides, there will be QR codes for videos that will instruct you on how to don and doff properly and how to use our pappers.